Hi, I'm Brad Fenson and we're up here at Reindeer Lake Trout Camp and as the name suggests we have some lake trout fresh caught and we're going to brine them up show you how to do some of these lake trout and smoke them with the Camp Chef smoker. We're going to do a traditional brine. This was uh, shown to me by an old German butcher. Uh, he al people always ask how much salt and sugar do you put in and how much water? Well this, we've got about two quarts here and it'll be about a quarter cup of each. But the best way to do it is to add an egg to this and add salt and stir it until the egg floats and that's the perfect amount and you can do that whether you have a gallon or two quarts or two gallons if you wanted to do a big batch. So we're going to cheat, I already know how much water we have. Put in salt and about equal amounts of brown sugar and there's all kinds of things you can add in here for flavor if you want. We have some garlic we're going to press out and just add those in there. What we're going to do is just lay a couple fillets in there and let them sit overnight. There's one, another beautiful big trout that they deboned for us, two, brine number two. This one's really easy, we're going to use some soy sauce, got a big jug of kikum in. When you're up in remote camps like this, bulk is often best. We're going to add about two tablespoons of sriracha in there. Secret ingredient, if I had fresh ginger I'd use it, but ground works just as well, a little bit of ground ginger. And some more garlic in here. Press those out, break them up. Deep enough that the flesh of the fish will sit in it. You can see that sugar all dissolves in there. The ginger dissolves. And then we're gonna take these beautiful lake trout fillets, flesh side down, and get them in there. It already smells delicious. So there's brine number two. Real simple to do. For our third brine, this one's super easy. We're gonna do a dry brine. Here's our beautiful lake trout fillets. We're gonna put them back to back. And we're fortunate here at Trout Camp, Reindeer Lake, they have their own special shore lunch mix. I'm told this has lemon pepper, seasoning salt, and special spices that they're not about to divulge. But if you wanna try it, you need to come to camp. And <laughs> it's worth the trip on its own. We're gonna use a little bit of ground ginger in here as well. A little bit over the top and to finish it off a little bit of brown sugar and what we're going to do just to make it nice and even is we're going to work these in with our fingers get it into all of the different grooves and stuff of the fish dry brines are great on fish for the smoker they're easy to do there it is all coated up and all we're going to do with this is fold it together if you have saran wrap you can put it in there but it's really easy just Drop them in a bag. And that sits till tomorrow night in the cooler or fridge. If you're out camping, the cooler works just great. And that is gonna take on all of the flavors of those different spices we put in there. We cleaned this up to where you can see that it's dry and it's starting to stick. It's really important that you don't have moisture on the fish, otherwise the smoke cannot penetrate it. So air dry these before you go. And just a little bit of oil or spray on the back is gonna ensure they don't stick to the grill. All right, here's the one we used just the dry rub on, and you can see how it penetrated the full width of the filet, the salt and everything creeps right through there, helps firm it up, add flavor, and of course a lot of that spice stays on top. The original process of drying fish were to cut them and hang them in the wind and let them air dry, and that's how uh, they were traditionally done in the north. We're gonna use the smoker to add flavor and to dry them, but it's really important we don't get our temperature too dry. We don't want to cook dry these fish. We want to smoke dry these fish. So we're going to turn this right down to low and just let it work and check on it about every 20 minutes to half an hour. Ooh, look at that. That fish is looking pretty darn nice. You can see that it's dried out. It's still got a little bit of flexibility in it. We don't want to over dry it. So this is almost done. All right, we've got some reindeer lake lake trout from Trout Camp. Of course we did the soy, ginger, brown sugar, the traditional just sugar and uh, salt, and this was the dry rub. And as you can see, mm, cooked right through, lots of smoky flavor. I don't know if there's going to be a favorite. I'm certain we're going to have to go catch more fish to make more in order to have a final decision on this.